I teach at Northfield High School with Catherine Norrie and Chris Holmquist, and I have the great privilege of working with our 9th through 12th graders in Northfield, and it's just been a lifelong treasure for me to have that opportunity. I've been teaching for 27 years, and I'm going to share with you what you see on the walls here. So uh, what you see above me are a project called, um, it's, it's actually called a monochromatic painting. So you can see that each painting is one color plus white and black. So it's really a value study. Um, so these pieces are really all about trying to figure out how to create lightness and darkness just using one color. So it's, it's the very beginning of our art foundation uh, painting unit. So it's really later in the course of the semester. And students are charged to choose an object and choose a color and then um, learn the techniques of transitional shading um, using those, uh, the simple tool of a brush and really just temper paint. Um, so we, we move into that value study after we do, um, we work with still life, which is what you see here at the bottom. Um, there's a few examples of our still life drawing, which of course, as you probably would guess, is an actual perceptual drawing of a still life that's sitting in our art room. So um, there's a designated art room that is um, called Studio A that we tend to teach art foundation. And um, we have collected many, many um, uh, objects over time through going garage sailing or just finding them in our homes. Uh, we tend to paint them all white so that they all start with this base light uh, color or value, I should say. And then, um, and then basically the kids take a viewfinder and they go up to the still life and they try to locate an interesting composition. So we learn a lot about composition how to compose a picture on a picture plane, being the paper, um, and coming up with something that looks balanced. Um, and then we add a light source. So we try to make it look interesting with a light source that um, is supposed to, in the end, be obvious. So um, we have always objectives with every single lesson. And with this one, we're looking for light source. We're looking for detail. We're looking for accuracy. Um, we're looking for very few lines and really a, a showing of value lots of transitional values. In the middle section here, you'll see a whole bunch of little mini paintings, and these are macro paintings. These are paintings of something close up, so they had to choose an, uh, an image. So we looked for an image, um, many of which I provided, and some of which they found themselves. Um, and so you'll see there's lots of bugs and animals and other uh, interesting points of view. Um, in order to make an interesting and unique choice. Um, this is our very final painting for Art Foundation, and the purpose of this painting is really to bring a lot of things together, to think about composition, to be thinking about value, to be thinking about first drawing and um, composing the image using line, um, but then um, bringing in realistic color. So we really learn about neutralization and how to create neutral colors, how to create browns, those dull colors that you can see in the world. So we're, we're thinking about realism and um, trying to produce what we see in the image. So we do a lot of perceptual, observational work in this class as a base, as a foundation to, to learning to study um, more advanced uh, uh, art and learning in general at the high school. So we start with a more concrete class um, again, focused on observational and perceptual work. So that's what you see here, a lot of observational and perceptual work. Um, as we move over this way, um, we're still kind of moving in that direction when we're working on still lights. This is another project actually from Art Foundation, um, which happens in the middle of the course. It actually officially happens after the still life. Um, those are the portraits that you see above and below, and these are all 9 through 12th graders at Northfield High School. Um, again, focused on looking very closely at something. Um, this is a fun project in that they are challenged to um, try to put on a persona. So um, I, we encourage them to grab you know, an object or do something expressively with their faces. Um, we set up a studio in just a storage room and um, with some great lighting and basically have them pose using their iPads 
um, they then choose one of those photos and work from that in order to create a really stellar self-portrait using graphite, so they're obviously using pencil. Um, some of them really take um, creative uh, freedom to go in lots of different directions, but they're of course trying to do some replication and they're very picky about these of course because they're themselves. So um, these are, this is a very challenging assignment, um, but one that I think a lot of them feel pretty excited about when they actually are able to accomplish this. Um, one couple things I want to point out is just the hair and just how incredibly difficult that is, but creating the shape of the hair, but then really thinking about the value and trying to look at it as a shape instead of as a bunch of lines is kind of how we try to teach that. Um, there's so many different solutions here and they're so very successful. So um, really challenging assignment, but an incredible one to try to master. Um, at this age level. I guess I'll share these two. These are from a different class. These are from um, design and illustration, a class that I teach in our um, computer lab, actually. We have brand new, um, we have the Creative Suite, um, so we have Adobe at our fingertips with large desktop computers. It's pretty amazing. Um, we didn't actually use computers to create these books, but we learned a lot about typography, and we've been now diving into Photoshop. Um, which luckily they have now on their devices while they're home doing online learning, soon to be coming up here. Um, but these are really fun. These are called typographic uh, portrait assignments and they basically, again, put on a persona um, for each of these um, little images. So each one has sort of a story behind it and they have to find a font using um, dafont.com in order to produce um, each illustration. 